the four remaining functions, I will not be graphing anymore the tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. But you know already the values of tangent 0, 30, 60, and so on and so forth. Same with cotangent, secant, and cosecant. All you have to do is to plot it. Remember that this is the y-axis. And this one is the horizontal axis, which contains, of course, your theta, the, the special angles. Okay. But I will give you tips on how to sketch it. First, you have to identify the period P of the function. Take note, period. That is one complete cycle. And then to determine circular function value for five special angles. So five special angles will be enough. Draw vertical asymptotes on the values where the function is undefined. So you have to draw a vertical asymptote. Remember that vertical asymptote is a vertical line in which the graph moves closer and closer but never touches it. Number four, plot the points and use them together with the vertical asymptotes as guide to sketch the cycle of the graph. Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Our most essential learning competency for today is finding the amplitude and the period of the tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant functions. Let's do it. For y equals a tangent of b quantity theta minus h plus k, and y equals a cotangent b quantity theta minus h plus k, and the amplitude will be equal to the absolute value of A and the period will be pi over the absolute value of B. For Y equals A, secant B quantity theta minus H plus K and Y equals A cos secant B quantity theta minus H plus K, the amplitude will be the absolute value of A and the period is 2 pi over the absolute value of B. Example 1. Y equals tangent of B. Or tangent of theta rather. So in this case, we will be transforming it this way. So that is Y equals 1 tangent of 1 theta minus 0 plus 0. Okay. Theta minus 0 is theta times 1 is theta. Tangent of theta times 1 is of course tangent of theta plus 0 is tangent of theta. So therefore, our amplitude will be equal to the absolute value of our A here is 1, our B is 1, our H is 0, our K is 0. So this one is the amplitude of, the amplitude of this function is the absolute value of 1 which is 1. The period will be equal to pi over the absolute value of 1, so that is pi. Number 2, so we have y equals cotangent of theta. So still, a is 1, b is 1, h is 0, k is 0, so therefore our a here is the absolute value of 1, the amplitude is 1, and our period is, of course, equal to pi over the absolute value of 1. So, p is equal to pi. Let's now go to number 3. y equals secant theta. So, our a is still 1, our b is 1, our c, our h rather, our h is 0, and our k is 0. So, the amplitude a is, of course, the absolute value of 1. So, the amplitude is 1. The period, for the period, we have 2 pi over, of course, B. The absolute value of B. So, 2 pi over absolute value of 1. So, that will be equal to 2 pi. So, the period is, of course, 2 pi. For number 4, we have Y equals cos secant of theta. Our A is 1, our B is 1, our H is 0, and our K is also 0. So our amplitude is still equal to the absolute value of 
a which is 1 so that will be equal to 1 that's the amplitude and for the period we have 2 pi over b b is 1 so this one is also 2 pi Example number 5. Y equals 2 tangent of theta plus 1. So, I will be writing it in this form. So, Y equals 2 tangent of 1 theta minus 0 plus 1. Theta minus 0 is theta times 1 is theta times 2 is of course 2 tangent theta plus 1. So, our A is 2. Our B is 1. Our H is 0. And our K is 1. Okay. So, therefore, our amplitude is the absolute value of 2, which is, of course, equal to 2. And our period is, this one is tangent, so I will be getting this one. This is pi over the absolute value of 1. So, our period is equal to pi. For number 6, we have Y equals... 3 second of theta plus 1. So I can write it this way. 3 second of 1 theta minus 0 plus 1. So my A here will be 3. My B here will be 1. My H here will be 0. And my K here will be 1. So therefore our amplitude is still the absolute value of 3. Which is equal to 3. And our period will be equal to, this one is second, so we will be having this one, 2 pi over the absolute value of 1. So our period here will be equal to 2 pi.